Hi guys, and welcome back to Garage Tech. In this video, I'll take a look at the diesel common rail piezo fuel injector. They are used for the premium car segment and the light duty vehicles, and most common diesel engines will either have a piezo or solenoid type injector. As the piezo actuator is integrated in the housing, the injectors are significantly slimmer than a solenoid valve injectors, and so require much less installation space. These piezo injectors are supplied with fuel from the high pressure pump and can work at pressures from 1,600 to 2,700 bar or 39,000 PSI, depending on the engine and fuel pump type. They are controlled by the piezo actuator made of several hundred layers of piezo ceramic. The ceramic expands by a few thousandths of a millimeter as soon as voltage of approximately 110 to 150 volts from the engine ECU is applied, setting the jet needle in motion. This coupling of actuator and nozzle needle enables very short reaction times and very small pre-injection quantities. When these piezo injectors were first introduced, the actuator speed was approximately four times faster than the comparable solenoid injector, but now they're on par with each other. Up to 10 individual injections are possible per injection cycle. The injection phases that are carried out by the injector are dependent on engine load, speed and temperature. When the engine is cold or idling, there are two pilot or pre-injections which help to reduce diesel knock and stabilize cylinder vibrations. But with a hot engine under load, the injection phases can drop to one. If the diesel particulate filter, DPF, is regenerating, then there are two to three post-injection phases. But whatever the condition, there is always one main injection phase. Lastly, it's important to note that if replacing these injectors, they need coding to the vehicle ECU, which allows for any manufacturing tolerances. Okay guys, I hope you liked this video. Please do give it a thumbs up, put some comments below. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.